Okay, uh, when you're I'm doing a little remodel project in the basement here, and when you're using a laser, um, sometimes it's handy to put it on the wall. You can uh, use, there's a holder that comes with these things that you can mount to the wall. It's got magnets on the back. And so in some cases, I've, uh, I've used the, the wall mount like this and put it on the wall and you can, you can mark your laser line like that. That works pretty good, but you end up with a lot of holes in the wall. So, and there's sometimes you need uh, laser lines in the middle of the room, so I bought one of these poles. Come on closer. And uh, this thing, you know, expands like a zip pull for um, enclosures. And as you twist it, it gets tighter. And this thing is a little over an inch in diameter. So I went on to Amazon, I think it was, and I bought one of these little camera clamps. And this thing here, you can put right on the pole, kind of clamp it in place, and it has a a uh, quarter 20 nut so you can put it on the bottom of your laser and control things. But the problem is that if you're lining up a wall or something and you need to move this whole setup over a quarter of an inch, you have no options, right? You have to disassemble the pole, move it a quarter inch, tighten it again. So then I came up with a system where I, I used that clamp and I put this little board on there and it had multiple holes, so different locations for the laser. And I thought that was pretty good. But then I started thinking about it even more. And I came up with an even simpler idea. This thing is just a piece of uh, uh, T-channel, a little piece of wood, and a piece of PVC. Which is, uh, this is regular one inch PVC. I just cut it into a shape. And so now this thing, you can put it right here. You can click it into place. And then you can put the laser right on it and um, you can swing it around anywhere you want. And I actually set this up with a, a separate um, little micro adjuster so that we can adjust the precise location of the laser um, in little increments. Sweetie, come here a little closer. Let me show them the mechanism. Okay, so, so here's the laser. And then if we want, we can, um, we can precisely, we can lock this one down and then precisely move the other one um, in, in small increments like that. And of course you can, you can move the whole thing um, anywhere you want to and fro and lock it in place and then you can swing it. So if you swing it a little bit, you can change the angle slightly, but if you swing it further, you know, like that, you get it. But the nice thing about this little design is that it's all simple parts, right? Everybody's got a piece of PVC, everybody's got a piece of wood, and this is maybe a dollar's worth of T-Track. That's what's cool about it, is you can make it very simply. There are other options. You can buy uh, clamps from RAM, uh, that company that make the little ball clamps. You can spend $25 on a RAM clamp for a pole, and then another connector, and then a RAM ball for the bottom of your laser. This thing here costs you like two dollars. So, um, so things about that I went through with designing this. Um, I looked at um, the ability to grab onto tubes. So I looked at camera equipment. I looked at bicycle equipment. I looked at uh, industrial equipment. There really isn't anything for lasers. Um, nobody really makes anything nice like an XYZ table that's uh, you know inexpensive that you can use for a laser. But this system here is pretty slick and it only costs a couple bucks. Anybody can make it obviously, you just cut the PVC in an S shape. I screwed it in from the back, I countersunk little number six screws, and then I put three screws in the top of the T-Rack. And it works great. Um, it, it, uh, it, works, it does a beautiful job of shining my line right where I want it. And if I want to move it, let's say, let's say that I'm lining up this wall right here and I want to move it in a little bit. I can move it right here and just line it up perfectly. And um, once it once it settles down, you can see that it that it puts a line right on the edge of the wall the whole way. That's it. Thanks.